Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's see what message comes out for you all, Cancer. Please give me a message for Cancer. I see a back and forth. Your cards are flying out. Like I can literally feel a force pulling it out here. I see a lot going on at once. Some of you guys got a lot on your plate. You're probably doing multiple projects involved in multiple things at once here. Um, this affects your energy to where you don't, you're not sure of things because you have so much going on. Your energy is not still busyness here is what i'm getting busyness to where you can't make up your mind you can't make up your mind you don't know whether you're coming or going okay all right so mm. When it comes to your sense of security, for some of you all, your sense of security represents something or something in your life represents your sense of security. For example, your home, for some of you, a person. Decisions. There's a, there's a decision needed and this decision involves cutting something out. This is the Queen of Swords. She has that knife in her hand. She's ready to cut things out. She's ready to cut things out. Okay. Um, she's ready to put her foot down. So there's almost like some kind of epiphany, some type of thought process that's happened or that's happening. And it has to do with cutting out something that you feel has something to do with your sense of security but you have a lot a lot of y'all are working a lot overdoing a lot to make sure you're comfortable in life you it's like doing a lot because you believe it's the best thing to find your independence to make you strong and mighty and powerful so you have your intentions are you know good when it comes to you um and you may feel like doing all of these things will give you that sense of security but they're saying there's things you need to cut out you're doing too much that's what i'm getting here so oh two of cups oh some of y'all it is some it's the home it's your relationships in the home okay um y'all your home environment is up for review. There's something here. It's like a lot happening. So you may not even be able to give a lot of attention to loved ones in the home. So it could be spouse, it could be children, it could be siblings, parents. You're not able to give a lot of your time to those that you love here because you've detached. It's like a detaching from the home because you're doing so much. The Queen of Swords is serious, not emotional. She's not emotionally attached. She's all thought, um, logic. She is a bit receptive though. She's not the King of Swords. So they're hoping you can receive this message here. Um, tell me more about Four of Wands, Two of Cups, please. Okay, this card wanted to fall and wanted to go back. This one, mm, Justice. So 
Some of you may need to listen to the Libra reading. There's some kind of, um, this is around the marriage. I'm getting specifically for some of y'all with the justice of the peace here. Um, some of you, this is actually affecting your marriage. Um, there's a lot going on. You're not sure what to cut out. This could be affecting your marriage. This could be affecting your home. It's bringing an imbalance there, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. I see some fighting. Some of you may be fighting. Thinking about. Actually thinking about divorce. I don't know. Thinking about cutting out. Let's keep going. This is getting very specific. Wow. Yeah, hermit. So you can kind of pull your energy back and start looking at yourself a little more closely. There's a need to look at yourself a little more closely, Cancer. When it comes to home situations, right? So if this is happening in the present moment for some of you, they're wanting you to really pull back and take a look at yourself and the role you're playing in it. If this is something maybe in the recent past or in the past in general, they want you to take a look at yourself and see the role you played because some of you may have a lot going on and inadvertently detached, for, like from an emotional level from the people in your, like your loved ones. Because you had so much going on, because basically you didn't have your priorities in line or you had people who felt like they were not a priority the way she's like looking at this the way she's facing the the way this is here i'm seeing a lot of you 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 kind of felt like you had to cut out the people in the home or like cut out things when it came to the home, you didn't even realize that it was the things outside of the home that was causing the friction. It's, it wasn't the things you were focused on that caused the friction or the divide or the imbalance with your loved ones. It was the focus you had on so much other things outside of the home. This could have been work. This could have been school. Um, this could have been just you trying to make something of yourself. And none of this is bad. You know, none of that is bad. Nothing here is good nor bad. It just is what it is. Um, they're all neutral. And it just seems like those things did not get any of your consideration when you made a decision to cut something out. And they're saying, take a look at yourself. You need to shine the light on yourself, Cancer. Okay. Let me see what your overall... Wow. Strength. All right. This lets me know there's a lot of um, challenging times that you're, you're either going to face or you had to face because of whatever this is. So you're going to have to be strong here with strength. And also, you're going to have to... Um, let go of pride. You're about to be humbled, Cancer. Or some of you have already gone through a humbling experience where you're starting to realize the role you play in the difficult and challenging uh, things, events that happen in your life. You're starting to realize the role you played. This is going to make you stronger with strength here. Um, you might have to backstep certain things you've said um, certain things you may have been very confident about. You may have had to walk back on. When I see strength, I know there's like a reinvention of self because with strength, you have to be vulnerable to really pick up this energy because there is a letting go. This is inner strength, you know, fortification, realizing that what you thought made up who you were you have to let that go it takes a lot of strength okay this is like um taming your animalistic side your carnal nature learning to tame it tame the beast within you let go of that pride you gotta let go of pride 
So, um, mm. yeah. The loved ones, your relationship with your loved ones may have changed. Yeah. People walking away from your life, you walking away from people. Um, I see movement. I do. I see some movement here. Um, the, it's like what I'm getting is you're going to have to learn to um, to see what you're willing to fight for, Cancer. What are you willing to fight for? And that's a very um, loaded question because this is really when you can go within or this will require you to go within and see what's really important to you. If you have nothing you're willing to fight for, you're going to have some very, very um, important thing that's about to happen to get you to develop some courage, actually, because everyone has something they're willing to fight for. And we realize that when certain things that we have is taken away and we don't have it, like when people leave our life, or when we feel forced to leave certain things, this starts messing with your sense of security here. It gets you to start really realizing how important having loved ones who really truly care for you around versus other things in your life um, that you may have given importance to. See, this is gonna, this is those tough choices that require courage. It requires somebody who's truly secure in themselves to make these kind of decisions because it's like there's things you're gonna have to walk away from cancer you know uh-huh and if you're wanting that happy home family is important to you cancer you are the fourth house um it's like being in a place where you have love around you that is a that is like a necessary ingredient in the um in the cancer life path you have to feel loved. And this feels like you are being called to make decisions, to cut out things that's not going to give you something that's priceless. Like you can't pay for this. Okay. This is not something you can just create and pay for. And it's not until someone is lonely, alone, or feel alone and isolated with no loved ones around that you realize how priceless this is. So some of you may have um, recently had to walk away or remove yourself from loved ones or it could be vice versa. But they're, they're saying you need to look at whatever these things are that you're focused on that has a lot of your energy you want to take a look at that because it's not going to it's not going to fulfill you the way you think it is here okay decisions yeah you're at a point in your life where you have to make important decisions which way you want to go which way you want to go cancer important decisions are needed here what is truly important to you what are you willing to fight for That takes courage. It takes strength. Uh huh. Take action. Wow, immediate action, Knight of Wands. This feels pressing. I feel like they're calling you to do something, Cancer. Knight of Wands. Mm. <laughs> you got to see clearly. You got to see this for what it is. Um, it's time to take chances here, the Fool. It's time to really go for what you know you want. See, with the sun here, this shows me that some clarity has been gained. Wow, it's bright. Okay, I'm sitting right by the window, so it's glaring. But you're, I feel like they just really brightened it up so that you can understand they're showing you something. The sun brings light. It is bright. It comes out during the day when you can see. So this is... 
you seeing something for what it actually is, not what you think it is. Even the hermit is here with a light, shining the light within, within. This is looking at yourself, not other people. This is looking at yourself. So that's what's necessary to bring happiness here. If you're wanting that happiness, that love, you know, the two of cups is right above it. This is that happy home. This is the happily ever after card, Ten of Cups. You know, the home, the kids, the loving relationship, supporting people around you. There is some action needed on something that was just revealed to you. With the sun clarifying the Knight of Wands, you may have just received some type of clarity and they want you to take action um, to support what you know you truly want. Your decision that you make should really, really fulfill you at a heart space. It's like fighting for love. That's what I'm feeling. It's time for you to fight for what you want. Fight for the true love. You know, your child's love. Your That person in your life who's very supportive. That love from the parents, from just um, family, friends, people who are important to you, that kind of love. Realizing how important that is, how priceless that is. That's what they're trying to get you to see, Cancer, and your decisions should really, really honor that, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Wow, Six of Cups. Some of y'all are um, daydreaming about the past. I'm getting reminiscing memories here. A sense of nostalgia, some of you all. Some of you may have passed up on true love in the past. Six of Cups. Something that really could have brought you happiness here. Oh, a feeling of loss here. Some of you are feeling like you lost something. And it's going to take some courage. It's going to take some hum. Oh, you're going to have to humble yourself to go after this, to fight for this. Interesting. Six of Cups. Something came and went back. Six of Cups. Queen of Wands. There's attraction here. There's um somebody. Someone's. Okay. Whoever resonates with this part, there's somebody specific. All right. It's almost like this is not someone who you have to think about who it is. It's like immediately you would know who it is. Okay. Anything else? Six of Cups. Someone you're attracted to, they want you to take action towards them. Knight of Wands here again. Knight of Wands clarifying. Take action towards that person. That's your guidance. Um, and if this, if you're still in this connection, they're like, make sure the action you're taking is towards someone you love something that if you lose it you gonna have to fight really hard to get it again some of you you had to walk away from someone and now they're being guided to fight for you i mean that's the message um Let me pull, because I'm not doing an extended here, so I'm going to pull a Numenology Oracle card. Now, I am opening up personal readings on June 1st. I usually open it only for Patreon members, but for this month, I'll open it up. So, wow. The flame just went out when I did that. So, some of y'all, mm, something died. Some type of flame This could be in the home, in the marriage. It could have died because um, energy is being put towards so much other things that does not support the stability of the home. Okay, Cancer. Message for Cancer, please. Take action towards the ones you love. It's saying that your emotions are running high. Don't let your emotions control uh, you know, the way you make decisions, just, there's a need to really, really um, make decisions that are clear. 
that clearly honor your emotions, actually healthy emotions. You're very close to achieving your goal and prosperity lies ahead. So there's like abundance waiting for you. The sun is here. Sun is a very happy card and it's in your spread. You got the 10 of cups and you're very close to achieving it. They're saying take action. Some of y'all, this is towards somebody in your past. There's another card here. A very fiery climax approaches. Oh, wow. It's like you have the opportunity to change something, but it does take action on your side, uh, Cancer. I'm actually going to leave it there, okay? Action is needed. I mean, this Knight of Wands here twice. And figure out where your priorities are. What is it that you truly want? Cancer, that's your message. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.